For nearly four decades, Bliss has served LGBTQ plus youth in Western New York. At Bliss, we make it our mission to build affirming cultures and supportive communities for youth of all sexual orientations, gender identities, and gender expressions. We provide a safe and positive environment for LGBTQ youth to learn more about themselves through interaction and educational experiences, creating opportunities for emotional growth and community awareness. And we've been doing it for quite a while. Bliss was founded in 1983 as a part-time counseling-based organization. Our founders, Don Lipp and Jim Haynes, were members of the Madison Society of the Niagara Frontier, Buffalo's first LGBTQ plus rights organization. In 2000, Bliss opened its doors as a full-time youth development agency, and we've done even more growing since then. We now host peer support groups, yearly and special events, offer support to youth through inpatient care, and so much more. My name is Dr. Robert Rausch, and I became the CEO at Gliss in October 2019, returning to Buffalo after the death of Stephen Olofsson, my life partner and husband of 29 years. I wanted to make a difference for the LGBTQ plus community because Steve struggled with reconciling his religion and his sexuality all of his life. This caused much sorrow for us as his life came to an end. Bliss is the area's oldest continuously operating LGBTQ plus organization, and we know that the youth we serve face unique and significant barriers to success. LGBTQ plus youth are two and a half times as likely to self-harm and almost two times as likely to use drugs and alcohol than their straight and cisgender peers. LGBTQ plus youth are also more likely to become involved with the juvenile justice system or to receive inpatient mental health care. And trans and gender nonconforming youth are particularly at risk for suicidal thoughts and actions. In order to combat the challenges LGBTQ plus youth face, this provides a safe space for youth to find peer and mentor support, as well as allies who will advocate for their rights and well-being. At GLIS, we support LGBTQ youth and their families. We support them in a whole way. We support them in their community, we support them in their schools, we support them in their medical clinics, and we especially support them here with all the many services that we offer at GLIS. Hi, I'm the Reverend Susan Crawley. Outside, I'm a minister. Here at GLIS, I am the Community and Family Services Coordinator, and my job is to bring together programs and activities for families and youth so that they can enjoy and experience a whole aspect of who they are. We do a systemic approach because we want to address all the whole aspects of who our LGBTQ youth are. We provide support groups for families and caregivers. We give education to schools, courts, and clinics so that they too can be good allies in the community as well. Most of all, we make sure that youth voices and youth needs are taken care of in a whole loving and supportive way because that's what we're about at GLIS, loving the whole person. So the flagship program here at GLIS of Western New York is our Timothy J. Moran Drop-In Center for LGBTQ plus youth. So the Drop-In Center is for youth and allies ages 12 through 21. My name is Kalina Swartz and I am the Drop-In Center Advisor here at GLIS. And the way I came to GLIS was I am a two-term AmeriCorps alum, so I served one term in Washington, D.C. and one term here in Buffalo, and I really fell in love with advocating for youth and became super passionate about working with youth and children for my career. I'm also getting my MSW currently at the University of Buffalo. So every week at the Drop-In Center, we meet to hang out, share experiences, and for the youth to just find peer support. 
we have presentations on everything from drag performance to LGBTQ history and identity, and they are all led by our fantastic GLIST staff, as well as great community leaders. In addition to the Drop-In Center, GLIST offers programs and groups specifically created for trans youth. My name is Mel LeMay, I use they, them pronouns, and working with trans and gender expansive youth is important to me, both personally and professionally. And at GLIS, we host groups for trans youth twice a month, one in person and one virtual, so that transgender, non-binary, questioning, and gender non-conforming youth can come together and find mutual support. We also support gender and sexuality alliances in Western New York schools with monthly meetups for our students and advisors, as well as our annual GSA conference. My name is Faith Winship, and I'm GLIS's Youth Leadership Coordinator. As GLIS continues to grow, we want to make sure that our youth's voices are heard. Our GLIS and Shine program allows youth to become a part of GLIS and provides them with leadership and development opportunities. My name is Michael Spears, and I'm the administrative assistant here at GLIS. If you've called us or used our online contact form, chances are you've spoken with me. I started at GLIS in January of 2021 after finishing my MFA in Film and Media Study at the University at Buffalo. I wanted to find a way to merge my art practice and my passion for community work, and at GLIS I get to do just that. I help make sure our programs and events stay running, and I even get to find creative ways to help out, like making the video you're watching right now. At GLIS, our goal is to provide comprehensive services to LGBTQ plus youth. We want to affirm their understanding of themselves, wherever they may be on that journey. Our programs, events, and resources support youth, their families, and peers as they navigate their lives together. To find out more about upcoming events and program meetings, visit glisswny.org or call us at 716-855-0221. GLIS Western New York, growing LGBTQ youth support.